Most beekeepers in England are hobbyists, so they have a small number of hives, um, either in an out apiary or in my case, in my garden. And before I started beekeeping, I went round all my neighbours and said, I'm thinking of beekeeping, how do you feel about that? And most of them were really positive. I've never had a complaint from any of them. And in fact, two of them went on to become beekeepers themselves. And quite often I'll have their children in my garden looking at my bees. When you've known a colony from its very beginning, you can judge the temper of the colony and it gives you a lot of understanding of what's going on in that colony. You can actually hear if they're upset. So when you open the hive, they make a different sound. So if a colony becomes queenless, you can definitely tell that they're very unhappy. And sometimes when you're handling bees and you drop to frame or lent against the um, hive and squash some bees, you can hear the bees inside the colony getting quite cross. And it's because of the pheromones that the bees put out. We certainly know more about bee intelligence. And to think that a colony doesn't respond to the beekeeper is to fail to understand their communication methods. They have a very pervasive form of communication in terms of scent, vibration, touch. And if you think of speech, speech is vibration. Actually, animals respond to calming words as much as they do to touch, and bees are the same. Okay, loves. Well, you're doing a good job on that. That's not bad at all. I'm convinced that uh, bees do respond to beekeepers. And I'm certain that beekeepers respond to bees. So it's nice to think that it might be reciprocal. If we lose honeybees, I think we've got to face the fact that we probably will lose all our native bees and all of our pollinators. And if that happens, I'm not sure where we're going to be as people. The bees have been around since before the dinosaurs. They developed with plants and there is a mutual dependency. The plants are dependent on the bees for pollination and the bees and pollinators for nectar and pollen. Um, if we lose one of those, we're likely to lose the other. <laughs>